Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel, Designer Secrets, Tips, Tricks, and Hacks, How to Decorate Like a Professional. My name is Lori, and today we're going to talk about how to get a luxury bathroom on a budget. A lot of it's going to be DIY, and I'm going to give you some tips that maybe you haven't thought of and ways that you can kind of cut some corners without making it look like you cut some corners on cost. So let's get started. Okay, are we ready to create some kick-ass bathrooms at very minimal effort and cost? I think we are. So let's get started. First of all, I want to talk about these hideous gold shower enclosures that have been around since, I don't know, 1975. They need to go because it is a very dated look. They're probably gross and crusty anyways, and they need to go. So if you look at the frameless glass enclosure in the middle, that is where you want to be if at all possible. If you still need to use a metal surround on your glass, that's okay. Do something small scale, um, not obtrusive and as minimalistic as possible but this really opens everything up your eye is not drawn to that frame it's purely just the glass and the decorative wall panels or whatever you have going on in the shower which i'm not gonna ask what you've got going on in the shower that's all you um, but as you can see in general, that these are a better look and, and they're a really easy way to update your bathroom. The next thing I want to talk about is there are some awesome prefabricated waterproof uh, laminate wall panels now. You can slap them up right over top of your existing tile, assuming it's in good shape and not moldy. If that's the case, then that needs to have a little bit of further investigation. And I don't want you to cover it up because that mold will just keep growing and get even more gross. So these, believe it or not, are prefabricated wall panels and they look custom, they look beautiful, and it's really hard to tell that they're not individual tiles. So again, a really quick and relatively inexpensive way to update your shower walls. And with the shower floors, I know those can get gross too. So they do make prefabricated shower pans that already have the tiles in them as you can see here and if that is not an option and you don't want to go through that much construction work um, this is a teak bath mat which you can buy in multiple sizes um, that will cover up again your outdated or gross shower floor and it gives you that kind of a custom spa feel because it is teak and teak is inherently waterproof so don't feel bad about putting wood in your shower. Next, let's talk about your shower floor. So as opposed to uh, jack hammering up all your tile, which is a nightmare, there are some things you can do relatively quickly, simply, and cheaply. In this picture here, those are actually vinyl peel and stick tiles where you can create kind of a cool, funky, custom pattern. Now, I'm not talking about 1965 grandma's vinyl kitchen floor where they're really thin. These are luxury vinyl tiles. They're thick. They have a lot of substance to them, so they're not going to go into your grout lines and pattern out that way. So it's a really great way to cover up if your floor, if you have an ugly tile floor or vinyl floor or whatever it is, you, these can go over it as long as the floor underneath is in good shape. Once again, on the right hand side here, this marble floor is actually a very thin tile veneer. Um, so it is real tile, however, it's super thin and can be installed over top of existing tile. It's large format, so a lot of them are 24 by 48 or even 48 by 48, which is awesome because you have a lot less seaming. However, somebody has to carry that sucker in, so get your big strong friends out for that one. 
in the bottom two pictures. These are both painted floors, which I've talked about in other videos, um, used cautiously because obviously it's paint. It's not going to be super durable like vinyl and tile, but they've actually come a long way these days with paint primers and top coats. So if you have maybe a medium use bathroom, um, a guest bathroom or powder room, give this a try. If it doesn't work, fine. You can go back to the other plans, but you know, you could do some really interesting patterns. You could do just one solid color to give it kind of a monochromatic look, but um, it's something to give it a try for tiles in good shape and you are willing to give it a whirl. Next, I want to talk about garden tubs that were basically put into every home starting in, I don't know, 1980. They take up a lot of space. Um, if you are not an avid bath taker, then they're really kind of just duck dust collectors, which is what mine is. And I do have the giant garden tub with the big giant surround. So you have a couple options. If uh, taking it out is not an option, or if you love it, it's just dated looking. There are some ways you can wrap them with wood paneling. Uh, you can do a shiplap look. You can do more of a Wayne Scott look, the sky's the limit. I would just get online and look up pictures of bathtub surrounds and come up with what it is you would like to do. And you can paint it. It doesn't have to be white. It's kind of tie in some other colors like this one here. Um, and if you aren't a fan of those built-in giant tubs, uh, what people are doing these days are ripping them out and replacing them with a much smaller scale freestanding tub. So you do still have the option of a bath. However, it doesn't take up as much real estate in your bathroom. So you can see in this picture before and after what a difference that makes and how it looks much more open and not as bulky as the one with the built-in tub. And also, FYI, just a little side note, I get asked this a lot um, as far as having a tub in the master bathroom and resale value on your house. As long as there is a tub in the house, you should be fine. People just want a place to either bathe their children, dog, or take a bath, potentially. So as long as you have at least one in your house, you're doing good. And another great way to update your bathroom is to take out that wall-to-wall -wall vanity that's a built-in or just replace the vanity that you have in with a freestanding vanity or in this case that is a wall hung vanity which is also super cool only downside to that is dust gets underneath them and so you'll have to mop sweep swiffer whatever under there but it's still a really neat look if you're willing to do that so just because you currently have an ugly vanity that goes wall to wall doesn't mean you need to replace it because that gets you into a lot of custom sizes and you'll have to have it built more than likely. So find a freestanding vanity that you love and pop it in there. It's okay if there is space on each side, no big deal. Other than if you lose something down there, that might be a little bit of a pain, but for a beautiful bathroom, I'm willing to deal with that. And side note too, Obviously, if your vanity is in great shape and you generally like the look of it and don't want to have any additional cost, paint it. Use a really good primer that will go over a finished uh, vanity. And there's plenty out there. Go to Home Depot, Lowe's, ask the people there, read the label, and you're going to be able to find something that will work really well and be durable. And the final thing I want to talk about are all those little finishing touches that really elevate the look of the bathroom and give it a custom uh, luxury look. So for instance, mirrors. I want to talk about those because a lot of times you have a builder grade house or just an older home where plate mirrors were the thing where they use all kinds of glue, stick them to your drywall, call it a day and walk away. So those aren't always the best look. You may have some of the mirror finishing coming off the edges. So there is, uh, in this bottom right picture, there are some companies that uh, fabricate 
picture frames for your mirrors for just that case. And I just did this on one of my jobs and it made a huge difference where you don't remove the mirror at all. You don't damage your wall. You just snap these frames over top. You could also use um, decals. There are frame decals you can attach to the mirror and they have some fun, funky designs. So that is a really good tip for dealing with a plate mirror or um, just any mirror that you may happen to have around, as well as hanging. Speaking of uh, actual free, not freestanding, but you know what I mean, actual mirrors that you would hang on a wall anywhere above each sink. And as it shows in this picture here, the glam gold look on the round mirror really elevates the design. Um, another quick way to update things is to update all your fixtures. If you have old yucky chrome fixtures that are super outdated looking, you know, go find some at your local hardware store, get on Wayfair, get on whatever site um, that you like and just swap them out shouldn't be too big of a deal. I mean, that's what I tell my husband anyways, just go ahead and swap them out. No big deal. So uh, towel bars, shower heads, faucets, um, anything like that, rope hooks, swap them out to a more updated look and finish, and that'll make a dramatic difference. Um, lights too, vanity lights, another easy way to swap those out, instantly update the look of your bathroom. Over the tub, a lot of times there'll be, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Can lights, that's the word I'm looking for. And you can actually swap out a can and place a pendant, a chandelier, maybe over the tub, like is shown down here. And it's an elegant look, and again, adds that luxurious feel that you're going for. And last but not least, just all the little accessories. Look at these pictures, see how they've done it in here. Add some greenery, uh, fiddly figs, still um, what's going on in the tree world these days in household decor. And a lot of bathrooms, um, having that in there is just a nice little accent, adds a little life to the room. A tray with some of your accessories on it is nice. Uh, rolling up your towels so it looks very chic hotel. Just little touches like that make all the difference. And the, what I recommend is getting online, type in luxury bathroom on your Google search, and just look at the images that come up and see what they do and do it yourself. They're really easy, simple, and it's going to give you an awesome look in the end. All right, now that we have gone through those tips and tricks, hopefully you feel ready to go and are excited about redoing your bathroom. If you have photos, please post them. I love to see them and have fun. Use your imagination and enjoy your new luxury bathroom. Talk soon. Bye. Thank you.